All right, welcome. In this video, I am going to introduce but not show how to code the project that you could follow along with if you have the accompany book for this. Now, the reason I don't have videos at this point is I am currently investigating two things. One is hooks in React, which we will be adding to the book and videos here. And the other is a new Firebase database that I'll talk about in a second. So, I'm going to show you the project that you could build and I totally recommend you go through and everything you learn in here will be valuable going forward. However, I'm not going to record all the videos yet because I may change some minor things to go along with this and I want to make sure the videos you have are long lasting. However, follow the book, follow the project. What you're going to do is build a little site like this that shows off posts and they could have all sorts of data in it and then you're able to log into it and edit those posts as well as delete them if you want to. Okay, you could also add new ones, of course. Now, the cool thing about this is that not only is this hooked up to local storage, so if we were to come into here, we could see, ah, we've got all this Firebase data, but the nice thing is, is that it's also synced to a database. So Firebase is Google's hosted database option that I'd say is one of the default turn tos for React developers when they need to store data, one of them. There are others, and uh, even within the Google stack, they have a new database, which I am looking at as well to include in the videos. However, <laughs> this is just how everything goes. Everything is always evolving, but once you learn one tool or once you learn one database hookup, the others are very simple to navigate between. So for this reason, I want to encourage you to go forth and try to build this app and be able to do these. And one cool thing I'll point out about this type of database in particular is that it is a live sync database. So I have my test new here. If I go in and do test edit inside my database console inside Firebase, uh, I come to my site, check that out. It is live edited updated. So that's pretty cool and it's helpful to learn about. We also look at how to um, add a rich text editor so that you could do a little bit uh, more editing, things like that. Cool little project, oh, title, little validation. Cool, and how to sync everything up. So go ahead and build this project. You're gonna learn a lot of cool things. You'll learn about routing. So we have actual strong URLs here um, and not just hashtags as you might build with uh, really simple applications. And we even look at how to host it on one of the modern JavaScript hosting platforms, something like Netlify right from the command line. So really cool project, gonna to pull together some new things, gonna to pull together some old things. Some stuff may look familiar, but the basic app structure, you've got your app and then you've got a bunch of components and they should be pretty clear from the naming what they're doing and you look in a lot of them and they're just functions like we did before with some cooler stuff going on. So please go ahead and check out the project and as things go and as I find the perfect solution that's gonna last us a while, then I'll go ahead and create some videos as well. But the book does a great job walking you through step by step all of these different um, aspects of building out a single page web app as well as authentication and as well as database and deployment so go check it out good luck and let me know through feedback how the project goes for you or if you get stuck along the way